During the recent MDA telethon, Good Morning Northland anchor Cassie Limpert reported on a personal friend, a little girl living with a neuromuscular disease. Later that month, little Sophia, her family, and Cassie took a trip to Disney World. It's a story Cassie calls a balancing act. Five-year-old Sophia and her sister Lila could hardly contain their excitement. They had their princess tiaras on even before they reached the gates of Disney World. <laughs> The girls and their parents, Doug and Andrea Dobert, were on their first family vacation, a trip that held a special significance and required months of planning. It was a lot of new experiences for all of us, and I just wanted to be doubly and triply prepared. The preparation was necessary because of Sophia's disability. She has a neuromuscular disease that makes her muscles weak and her body fragile. Andrea packed 15 suitcases just for Sophia's equipment and medicine. She had to arrange for all of it to go on the airplane, including Sophia's adapted stroller, her wheelchair, and the machines that help her breathe. It was certainly, it required an immense amount of planning and preparation, but I, I never once thought, well, um, this is just too much work for, to do this trip. The trip was a gift to the family from the Make-A-Wish Foundation, which gives kids with terminal or chronic illnesses like Sophia's a chance to fulfill a dream. But the vacation wasn't a week-long break for the family. Sophia's condition requires round-the-clock care to keep her lungs clear and her body comfortable. We have more responsibility. Um, and we can't um, lag on any of that. It's, it's sort of, um, it's a very fragile medical responsibility that you have to always be on top of it. Doug and Andrea knew it would be extra work to take their daily routine on the road, but they wanted Sophia to experience Disney World with her sister. To us, this was a celebration. A celebration of all she's overcome in the past year. She's had several operations, emergency surgery, and she spent two weeks in the ICU with a respiratory infection. She's just had kind of a difficult year. Through all of these experiences, she's always just this big-eyed, hopeful, wonderful little girl. The Doberts' reality reveals a challenge that all families with a special needs child face. They have to figure out how to build a life that is as normal as possible while planning around the needs of their child. All in all, it's just, um, it's all about putting effort into it. And I think most parents would do that. And in Florida, Andrea and Doug made sure they had plenty of fun. Sophia and Lila kept them on their toes, running around the Disney parks, swimming in the pool, and playing in the sand. We're just so happy to be able to see her get away from any kind of medical environment or any kind of surgical procedure um, and all the unpleasantness that she has to deal with with that and just have fun. During their seven day stay in Florida, the Doberts saw firsthand how certain people and places understand their reality. Andrea and Doug watched with gratitude when the Disney World employees treated Sophia just like the other children. You don't find that very often. Um, most people kind of keep their distance a little bit. They're a little bit afraid or not sure exactly how they should communicate with her. And because they were all handicapped accessible, Sophia was also able to go on the rides like Dumbo the Flying Elephant and the African Safari. <laughs> Andrea says this was one of the few places where they had an easier time than the general public. They went to the front of the line for all the rides. There was a private air-conditioned room when Sophia needed to cool off. Andrea says it's not like that most of the time. Most other places, whether it's just a playground or a school setting, you know, you're, you'll always have more challenges. One of the family's best memories is of Sophia's special meeting with the characters from Sleeping Beauty. And then he kneeled down and said, may I kiss her hand? Another highlight was SeaWorld, when a private meeting was arranged for Sophia to meet the dolphins. What sound did the dolphin make? Andrea said there was special meaning to that day. Dolphins are associated with healing. If I had one picture to pick from this trip, it might be that one because it just talked about perseverance and, and strength and beauty and, and patience and kindness and, and healing. And I'd say most of all hope. And now the Doberts carry that picture of hope with them as they get back to their normal routine at home. It's that picture that reminds them they can handle anything that life throws at them. I'm Cassie Limbert for Eyewitness News. Thanks, Cassie. Indeed, the trip of a lifetime.